In my last video at the end, I mentioned about my fox gloves and how you can get over 20 for under two pounds. So come and have a look in my cold frame. So these are all fox gloves that I sewed from seed last August. And I bought them from just a garden center in a seed pack. And basically over the winter have cultivated them so that they're now big and strong plants ready to go in the garden. The um, way to sow them is actually really simple. The seeds are like grains of sand and you essentially take a tray kind of like this one. You fill it up with your seed compost. You put a bit of um, vermiculite in there like we did last time um, and basically get the drainage really, really good. And then you essentially chuck the seeds on the top a very thin layer of seed compost on the top and then you put it in the in the windowsill like we did last week with the um, other seeds and keep them keep them growing they'll sort of grow like a little carpet of um, tiny little seedlings and you basically then take out the strongest ones it's kind of heartbreaking because I could never have a whole tray worth of foxgloves I probably already have far too many but they for me, they make the most beautiful borders, make things really colourful. They're tall, they sway in the wind, and they're just, they're just my favourite, really. So in this video, we're going to plant them out. All of us, all of us is you and me and they and them and he and she. All of us. Oh, 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 all all of us. us. So what I'm doing now is just I'm going to grab these and then we are going to fill the borders with them. So borders, this time of year, my borders anyway, look a bit empty. They look a bit, a bit rubbish, a bit sad. So what I'm going to do is basically fill in the gaps with my foxgloves. So here's one I actually planted last weekend as a bit of a test to check that they were you know that it was the right time to plant them out because it's still a bit cold in the evenings but look how healthy this one is doing so this has sort of been my motivation really to get to get the others in so i'm picking spots where we have enough kind of ground space for them to thrive basically so for example i probably wouldn't put one in here because I've got my peony, which is hopefully going to grow massive this year. I'm doubtful of that because it is a bit shady. But for example, I would put one in there. Just grab the others. It's always difficult to decide where you want them. So once you've decided where you want your foxgloves, it's then time to get planting. So these are all the tools that you need to plant foxglove or any other plants that you might have that are ready to be popped into your borders. So we have got a nice little shovel. I've got a little trowel that is useful just for when you get closer on the detail. Bone meal, which is a root builder. So plants really love a little bit of bone meal in there when you're planting out, and I'll show you how to do that. Gloves, very important. Um, and my rather glamorous knee, knee pad thing, um, which is very useful because it means you don't get muddy knees. And watering can full of water. So let's plant them up. Generally speaking, you want a hole slightly bigger than your pot. This, um, we mulched these borders a few weeks ago now, and so the soil is really good quality. And mulching is basically where you put a load of manure on the tops of your borders, and it sort of gets the, all the plants set up for the year ahead and puts a load of goodness in, which is exactly what your plants need. I'm just gonna put my gloves on because it starts to get a bit messy. So, digging my hole. 
I'm going to put the soil to the side. We've got really clay soil but over time we've improved it and that is just purely by putting a load of good compost in lots and lots of manure and just almost making it a mini project see how that looks I think that that's a pretty good fit so now I'm gonna get my bone meal so knee pad time just gonna get the end of a trowel's worth of bone meal and put that in and we're just gonna dig it in and that will mean it gives the roots something to go after now then I can feel because these were watered this morning I can feel that this is going to come out quite easily but generally speaking you need to just give the pot a bit of a squeeze hold the top and place it in you can do this with your your trowel I like to do it by hand so that you can be nice and delicate so the root system on this plant wasn't as big as I was expecting so I need to make sure this one gets plenty of TLC and now very importantly I am pushing down really quite hard on the plant just to make sure again there's like the seeds last time that there's no air lock and then I'm just going to cozy him back up with the rest of the soil that we dug and that's it we just now need to give it a bit of water and he's in next one so one of the things to watch out for when you're planting young plants at this time of year March and April is slugs um, and the best thing for it is gravel or the slug wool pellets just anything that stops them from nibbling your plant and they don't like they don't like rough things they don't like to sort of crawl over anything rough so that's why these are really good so essentially I just put a ring around all the little plants that I've planted I'll show you what I did with my lupin for an, as, as an example and that just keeps them protected and then it means you don't have to spray them you don't have to put any pellets down it just stops them from eating up your plants and this is just a really organic way of looking after your plants and uh, looking after the insects that live in your garden this is what this is a lupin i planted a couple of weeks ago and the sluggy gravelly stuff is put all around it and it just means it's really protected from from being eaten because it's got such luscious little leaves and you can see the foxglove that I did last week as a test that's got slug protection all around I'm just going to do the same for my other babies all you need to do is make sure that your sort of barrier if you like is thick enough and is thorough so that all of your leaves are protected. The only thing is it looks a bit rubbish, but it's worth it in the long run because then your plants get bigger and healthier and they've not been eaten. So these foxgloves, you probably buy the equivalent in a garden centre at the moment for about £10 each. Um, I bought a packet of seeds for £1.99 and I've got over 20 foxgloves. So if you do the maths on that, that's a bit mad, isn't it really? I haven't really showed you my veg patch yet and that's because it's not quite ready to kind of get up and running yet. Um, but in future episodes, we'll be planting out some of the seeds, hopefully, that will have germinated and we'll be I'll be showing you how to kind of turn it over and the soil and all that stuff. So I've put a couple of foxgloves in the garden already, but there is plenty more to do in the garden uh, over the next weekend uh, and the week or so. So I bought these um, from the garden centre because I thought they were beautiful. I have no idea how I say the Latin names. But they're both perennials and they've both got beautiful flowers. This one's red with yellow, this one's white with purple. They're tall as well, so they will be perfect for the back 
of the borders. I love the cottage garden vibe where you've got lots of beautiful flowers flowing in the wind. So I think they will be the perfect backdrop. They're also bee friendly and I love bee friendly plants. They're the best. That's why I love the foxgloves. These both seem like they're bee friendly too. So I'll be digging those in. Hope you have a nice time in your garden this weekend. Coming up in future episodes, lots of people asking about how they can make their balconies or their kind of city homes feel more green without having a kind of big lawn. So I'll be talking about herbs in a future episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this one. And um, if you do like it, please subscribe. See you next time. All of us is you and me and they and them and he and she. All of us. All of us.